guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video, and today I'll be showing you a quick fix for the dot schematic. People are going into my video going to my video and they're downloading maps on Planet Minecraft and then people are putting them in their saves file, but some people are downloading dot schematics and sometimes on Planet Minecraft you will get dot schematics instead of folders. So today I'm gonna to show you how to fix the dot schematic. Okay, so what you're gonna do is make sure you have your dot schematic with you and go to your single player and you're gonna create new world. Name it something you can remember, because we will be referring back to it later. My, me, myself, I'm going to name it Super Flat, because I can remember that pretty easily. And you want to make sure that it's on creative mode. You want to go to options, and you want to make sure it does stay Super Flat here. No seed, no customize, it's Super Flat, creative, and anything you can remember for a name. You want to create the new world. It should load up pretty quickly, since it is Super Flat. And, okay. Once it's good, we want to go back and click save the title. Okay, right now you want a quick game and you want to go out of here. Okay, well I'll be leaving the link to the description where I got this dot schematic on Planet Minecraft, but if you have one of these dot schematics, just leave it here onto your desktop. And right now we're just going to go ahead and open an MC edit because that's what we're going to use to implement this dot schematic. And I'll also leave the link to the description where you can get this. Okay, once it's open, what you want to do is you want to click the minimize and you want to get your dot schematic. Go to Finder. Once you're in Finder, you're going to go to Go to Folder, which is down here under Go, and then Go to Folder, which we already clicked that. It should say something like this Library, Application Support, and then Minecraft. On a PC, you want to do percent, app data percent, and then you just click it, and then you'll be right where the Minecraft folder is. But today's video, we're not going to click the Minecraft folder. We're going to go a little bit below that. It's going to be called PYMC level right down here under the Minecraft folder. You want to go to schematics. What you want to do is you want to get your schematic folder that you do have on your desktop or wherever you have it saved. And we're going to drop it inside the schematics folder on the PYMC level, which connects to your MC edit. Now, you must have this like installed on your computer. Like MC edit has to be on your computer before you attempt this because without it, you cannot implement schematics. Okay. So the schematic folder that you downloaded is in the folder, and everything's in there. And what you want to do is you want to go to Open, and you want to go to your Saves, and it'll already open up when you click Open. So right here, you want to click Open and MC Edit, and go down using your scroll wheel or double fingers, and click Super Flat, and you can either double click it or Open. So I'm just going to click Open so you know what I'm doing, and it'll take you to the level dot dat, and after that you want to click open, or you can double click it, but I'll do open. Once you're in your world, you just want to um, do your left click real quick, so you can like maneuver around. And yes, MC Edit is very, very hard to use. But you will get used to it as you do it like more often. It will get easier. So what you want to do is deselect, make sure nothing's there, and you want to click left click so you can maneuver. Okay, what we want to do is once you're in MC Edit, you see this all around you, all the surroundings should look just like this. You want to press the 6 key on your keyboard. It's a 6, the number 6. And you click it. And it'll take it to your schematics folder. And down here you'll have your dot schematics. And whatever schematic that you just put in here, I put in the Water Temple Bridge, which you can find on Planet Minecraft, so I'll leave the description. And, and I'll leave the link to this in my description, is what I'm trying to say. And you can download this if you really like it. And I'm just going to click this twice, or you can click open, so I'll click it twice, and it'll open this schematic here. So what you want to do is just want to click anywhere, or wherever you want to put it. And I'm just going to click one time, left click, and then I'm going to click left click again, and I'm going to click right. Once it's placed down, you'll see you can move your mouse, and you want to click import. It'll take a little bit to import, some of it will have red at the bottom, and you just want to make sure that the red disappears so it can load all up and everything can load perfectly. Make sure everything's functioning. It looks pretty good. So what you want to do is you want to go to your exit and you want to do quit. And then you want to do save and quit. Notice to get to this page you have to put escape key. So escape will take you here. You click quit and you click save and quit. So save and quit and it is saving. And after that, it should log you out of MC Edit. You want to go back to your Minecraft. 
Once you go back to your Minecraft, you just want to start up your regular routine, how you start. So click play, whatever version you want to use. But please don't use any versions that are like the map was built in 1.7, say, and you're going to use 1.6. Don't do that. Just use the version that is recommended for or earlier. So I'm just going to play the latest version, 1.8.9, single player, and I'm going to go into super flat, the world we just created. Whenever you named it, you click that after you implement everything. As you can see, uh, the thing we just implemented here is right here, and it's a beautiful map. And once it all loads up, it should be ready. And basically, with that DOS schematic problem you have, is no longer there, and you guys know how to fix it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it helped you out, and that you got all your things working correctly. If something went wrong, just tell me in the comments section below, and I'll try to help you fix it as soon as possible. So, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.